Hey guys, what the hell is up? It's Mr. Unloaded. I have some very exciting news. As you know, or you don't know, I'll tell you now, I'm a huge Glock fan. So, one of the first skins I ever bought, and I've been casting into them since they came out. So, it's my honor to say that I know that there have been a couple of leaks on clips of the Glock M, the 17M specifically. Well, <clears throat> just a few hours ago, I got some, some pictures off of... Uh, Glock store, uh, cool website. They saw everything for Glocks. Check them out. Um, they have photos of an officer who was training with them. Uh, I think in, I forgot where exactly. Uh, basically, training with them. So he got a couple of pictures that he took of them to to basically show us. He posted them online, and I'm just showing you guys to let you guys know what's going on and what the hell's going on with all these Glocks and everything like that. So, Shot Show 2017 is going to show the new Glocks, the Gen 5s or whatever they want to call them. But as of right now, it's all speculation as far as. What they're gonna look like because I've seen a couple pictures and the pictures I'm about to show you are completely different than the ones you saw. So, in my phone here, we're gonna do a side by side picture or pop uh, a picture in picture and, and go through it together. Okay, so check it out. <clears throat> First thing right off the bat, as it pops up, you should see that it looks like a basic Lock 17 without finger grooves. And let's see, it, it has a little bit of a flare, flare at the bottom like a magwell, but it's built in. It's not a big one, it's just a, a slight tiny one. And that has like a Gen 4 type of feel. It has a, it has a oversized mag release, and it's, it's pretty standard. Nothing crazy. It's a 17M on the side. The sights look like they've been upgraded, but I can't really tell from here. Okay, let's go to the next picture. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, I'm not gonna ruin it, but yeah, that, that looks like. Let me see. Do side by side here, guys. So this is what we're supposed to be looking at right there. Nothing crazy. I know you notice that one little piece of steel right hanging on there to the front part of the actual core of the gun. Let's go to the next picture because I think I know what it is. Uh, nope. Uh, yep. It is an ambidextrous slide release for lefties. That's fucking badass. Literally, I think lefties are gonna actually start loving this game just because they gave them that option. Uh, that's fucking badass. Uh, that I mean, that's pretty cool. It's ambidextrous in every way now. Mags, mags, and and now uh, slide lock. Nice thing, you know, they're probably gonna deal with the barrels. You actually start or um, the slides. You actually start buying maybe on the left or the right. That'd be pretty cool. Um, next thing we're gonna look at here is the guide rod. It looks a little different. Supposedly, what I read up on there, the guide rod's a little bit longer. As you see a picture in picture, mostly this part right here, and and the coil, the actual spring looks longer as well. It doesn't look as tightened up. You can see a slight difference in it. I mean, it's it's not a big one, but it's slightly there. Supposedly, from what I heard, it's supposed to massively decrease the recoil on that gun. Uh, I know it's a nine, but more recoil, better control, better shots. So let's go to the next one. Uh, gives us a closer look at basically the front of it where the grooves are gone, and you can see the cutout they made right there. So let's get one of my Glocks out. It is loaded, so I gotta be careful. As you can tell, right there that one or that thing right there is actually physically cut out so now you can actually strip your mags a little bit easier without having to you know buy the buy like the Terran tactical little base plates where it sticks out you can yank them a little bit easier they're way enough to where they just pop out that's pretty cool They're giving us options without having to spend extra money I like that so for the rest of the Glock there's a slight difference I can see yeah right there this is basically gonna one-up everything they've done before because I guess they've been listening to the consumer, us, and um, everybody knows that we love, if, we, if there's any way we can get a higher grip on that gun, we'd love it. So the problem that most blocks have is they have that little uh, piece of triangle right there. I don't, even, I don't even know what you call it. It'd probably be like the, the piece basically where the trigger guard connects to the actual um, frame of the gun. This part, people always cut it out. They always make it, they always get the drum will literally cut out a little piece of it. So basically what it looks like from right there is they had already done that first. You can get a higher grip on the gun. It's not extreme, but you can tell there's a difference there. It's not just a regular uh, regular uh, basic cutter right there. It's It's got something going on right there, so not bad. And one thing they did do is they knocked out one of the pins. As you can tell right there, that top pin is gone. So I have two pins right there. That clock doesn't have those pins. That's crazy. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm still getting, I got allergies, so that is, that is fucking crazy. Um, I like the fact that the finger grooves are gone, it's different. I think Glock has a winner here. I mean, if they change a little bit more, it'd be good. It's just, you know how gun makers get, eventually they change to the point where like, it doesn't even look like a Glock anymore, and, and nobody wants that. 
But, dude, this gun's gonna be legit. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go and end the video there, but I just gonna kind of pop those in, let you guys know about the new Glock coming out and the updated pictures that just came out today. So, if you uh, like the channel, please hit the like button. And if you want to comment, let me let me know what you guys think. Let me know what do you guys think about the new Glock. Is it gonna be better? Has it changed much from the original pictures that came out? And what are your opinions on this gun? That's actually, is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? And what do you think they could do to improve it? So comment down below. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I appreciate you guys subscribing and share my channel. Let your friends know. And uh, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to bed because I'm making this really late. So you guys take it easy. Have a nice night. Uh, see you guys later. Peace.